Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And this is our daily card reading for May 24th, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings. There's our card. Please make sure that you respect and read the rules. Okay, the procedure I have in place is for a good reason. I'm one person, so I have to streamline it, okay? That also means do not keep reaching out asking when you're going to get your reading. Cool? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. This is the biggest thing that I think a lot of us are going to be coming into. Just really wanting to, um, oh gosh, I just got the message that the last two years kind of prepped us for what's to come. And again, if you're in the space of, oh no, what is that? Me? Oh no, I, Michelle, you just terrify me. You're, you're disempowered. You have not been doing your work. You cannot say that you've been doing your work and still be coming from that place. No, that's not how that goes. So this is saying, get into that solid, resourceful place. Okay, you know what? If someone loses their home, that is horrible. But does it mean they're out of the game? Does it mean that they're, you know, they can't find a different way to live or whatever? Don't let anything get you down. That's what it is. Don't let anything get you down, okay? And when there are horrible things going on in the world, we need to lift each other up. Your loved ones are the ones that are in war-torn countries. Your loved ones are also, not just your family and your friends, but also that person on the other side of the, the world that you've never met. They're your loved ones too. So the card says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And you can name them. I would encourage you to put the world in there. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthy, happy life. If you watch the weekly, I was saying that a lot of practitioners, it's kind of weird because it's like, like there's going to be like a mass exodus of readers and practitioners kind of going, I came in and I offered and no one took the offering. So I, I did what I showed up to do. I'm going to go off and start the next chapter of my life. And this is where a lot of people are going to be sent into a scramble because the people that they were maybe even a little codependent with, now they're no longer there. Now they are sort of forced to stand on their own two feet or um, anybody in your life who just kept feeding you and feeding you and feeding you and feeding you. And feeding. You know, when they start standing back and saying, no, 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 take care of yourself. I'm setting a boundary. You do it for you. You figure it out. Some people might throw a fit because they think they're entitled to people's help. Um, others might just start reacting out of fear. They're like, oh no, how am I supposed to do this on my own? Because they're disempowered, right? So this is saying you're more empowered than you realize and your loved ones are safe, all right? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.